Okay, thanks, Willie. Um, hello, everybody. Okay, so GLAM, Generic Land Management System. Um, so we developed it in starting kind of 2016 and a pilot for the Burham program. Hen Harrier use it extensively. And then there's GLAM Light, which is developed in 2018 for some of the smaller EIPs use it. And uh, then internally, we use it for uh, forestry management plans and for environmental impact assessments going forward. So using it for REAP now, and then there'll be other areas later on that we'll probably use it for. So basically, GLAM is, is, a, is a facility whereby you can map um, features, you can, you can label fields, you can draw polygons, you can split fields and label uh, so you can split parcels and label it the two fields you've created. Um, so it might be improved grassland, wet grassland, peatland. You can draw polygons to indicate um, features. You can draw lines to uh, for fencing or to indicate boundaries in within the boundary walls of fields. And um, you can draw point actions as well. So whether it's a, a well or a gate or in the case of, uh, for example, in glossary on board boxes or back boxes or whatever. Um, the, the mapping facility allows you to switch on and off different layers then, whichever you mean. So that the, the, the SPAs and SACs and the sure are probably the, 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 the uh, and the national heritage stuff are probably the most common. Um, like in other areas in forestry management plans might be interested in, in in gas pipelines, um, in electricity lines, uh, water courses obviously is another issue. So, um, okay, so uh, you'd be able to draw all of these. The beauty of it is when you draw the features on the map, you don't have to repeat it then on the application side. So if you draw a, a, a fence and save it, it will appear then on the data side of, of, of the application as fencing and it'll it'll have been measured and, and that's all you'll need to do. In the case of REAP, um, you'll see it later on, Tara will go through it in, in more detail. But if you label uh, a field low, low impact uh, uh, pasture or mixed species, whatever, um, that will then appear on the data side, there'll be a scorecard created for that and there'll be a kind of a questionnaire to like with the scorecard the um the and then the, there'll be a calculation there to rate the score and whatever you put in you'll be able to print off a pdf that'll include the data and the mapping features all in one in one pdf that you can then show to your client to be sure so you can be printing these off you know you, you can save a plan and if you're not happy, you can go back and update it and, and it'll be updatable until you actually finally submit it. So um, so you can print off PDFs as necessary to if you want to run something by someone or whatever. So um, it, it's flexible enough in that sense. Okay, so the the, 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 the process flows, you say, you, 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 Aiden is taking you through the application on, on GCPS. So once your client is approved as an applicant, and then you and they get the letter and you're clear to go ahead then um so you can uh when you log into uh, through sso go into glam and you'll see your clients there so it'll display that the, the your repairs you can start creating the far, farm plan fields map the complementary actions now the, the i think the suggestion tara will probably go through this in detail that you will have probably sketch this out beforehand. You'll have walked the, 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 the land and decided what you're going to do. And then when you get into GLAM, then you, you can you can draw that on the maps there. Um, again, map complementary actions, whether it's a line of trees or uh, or uh, um, whatever the other, again, Tara will take you through what, what they are. So that's all available to you there. As I say, it's an iterative process you can save at any time and come back and add more or take stuff off until you're eventually happy. And then you'll see at the bottom there, you can you know, submit for review. Um, and then the information that's captured then on GLAM will go back to the, to the 
the, the REAP application side to, uh, to calculate the payment. So your scores will be there. Um, and then there's a formula then to, to calculate. So that's that's pretty much, it's, it's, it's hopefully quite straightforward for you. Um, just to give you an example, for those of you who haven't seen this before, I know many of you will have if, you, if you've worked on any of the, the if you worked on Hen Harrier or Boren or some of the EIPs. So you can see the parcels there and there's the, 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 on the right hand side, you'll see the different layers that can be switched on and off. On the left hand side are the, the editing tools. So when you would zoom in on, on, a, on, a, on a parcel, you can decide to what to draw or to create a field or whatever. And so that's a kind of, that's a before. And there's an after where someone has has taken a parcel, they've drawn a new hedgerow, uh, some water piping there, three gates in the field, and some fencing. So that's the the basic um, uh, operation of GLAM on this. When the time comes, I know there's going to be a, a training session uh, later on. We'll um, we'll go through this type of stuff in more detail for you as regards how to draw and how to save and things like that. And also on the application itself, you'll be able to click on a tutorial again, which, which will take you through how to, to draw and to save. Um, so there we go, I think that's okay. And there's, you see the stuff that was drawn there now is back on, on the data side of the application. So the gates and the, the fencing that was there, the length is there, okay. Comment could be any kind of, anything you want to put in there um maybe for more for yourself and for the client rather than for um for us um that's it really it's as simple as that but the beauty is that anything you draw will be once you save it it's represented on the data side you don't have to write that in again so when you create the scorecard commitment on the map it will be on the data side for you to update them automatically so that's me done. Hopefully that gives you a little overview of it. And as I say, later on in the summer, we will go through the drawing and the saving in more detail for you. Thanks, Willie. Thanks. Thanks very much for that presentation, Tom. Just to the advisors as well, just to make you aware that obviously we're skipping through these fairly quickly, but the PowerPoint presentations can be made available. We'll put them up on the department website or whatever afterwards, so that the, you can go through them at your at your le leisure, and will be on the on the website.